In this video, we're going to explore how you can make a logo in Canva. So right now I'm signing in Canva. And once you're signing on Canva, you can create a logo. And if uh, how? By the following. You just click here on create a design. And once you click on this button here, you get here the search option with some suggested options. As you can see here, we already have logo as suggested, or we can use a custom size. If you have no logo at all, this is the one of the best options is to just select this or search. If you don't see logo here in this, the suggestions, just type in logo here. It will give you every option here. And let's imagine we want to make a logo for our cafe. So we click here on cafe logo. Once we click on this, the size of this is by default set on 500 by 500. And we have this here and then we can see here every option here. Canva already understands that you want a logo related to cafe so it has here already some cafe options here and it, which are all quite nice so let's select one since we don't have any idea what we want what we best the best what we could do is just to search here for an option and then select one here that is very uh, appropriate oh uh, well, i saw one here that was probably quite minimalistic a bit like starbucks beautiful so this is a bit of a starbucks style except for the color so let's change this a bit and we can adjust it. So you can see a delicious food, well this could be maybe a coffee. We can maybe even remove certain elements. As you can see here, well I think this is fine. Delicious foods is nice as well. We could change this here. Instead of delicious foods, we can say here, coffee and donuts. There we are. And here, maybe this could be as well. Coffee and donuts, or well maybe here, just the co oh, company name. This could be uh, by job. All right, so we have this. So it's a very straightforward item here. We could oh, we could even adjust here this option a bit more down or up if ever you want it, but that's no needed. So in here, for example, this is the color. You don't like this color. You can just click on this here, and it will give you suggested colors. These are the default colors. And we have some brand colors which are uh, set if you have a pro version you can set a default color that you want to use or if you click on this here you can select any color you want imagine we want something like uh, well very close to Starbucks we can use the hex code here we probably have to search for it or we can give you maybe like a green let's say green here the moment we keep, uh, click of uh, typing green, you can see here the su suggestion. So this is the default color, including the hex code. As you can see, it's hashtag 008000. In total of six digits plus hashtag is seven digits of seven characters. So you can click on this and see how this looks like. And this looks all right, but maybe it's not that desirable. What we could do as well as this, because you might want to have an idea you want to compare. So let's click on this. We click here to duplicate this. If we duplicate this, we could change this, for example, to another color. Let's say we want to change this. Instead of that, we want maybe a more dark green. A bit like this. And you could eventually compare with each other which one you prefer more. But this is a quite useful tool. Next as well, maybe you have another idea. Maybe you don't want these characters here or this, this symbol here of the fork and the spoon. Well, what we could do is we can select your elements and put in any specific logo well what we could do as well of course is put in here a matching borderline all right so we see here one of these graphics you can select that but you want to maybe have it in the same color so if i click on this you can see here this is the hex code as well but we we have to just find them so what we can do is here to click on plus and copy this color code here all right and then we go back here click on this you see here the black we click on that it already gives us suggestions, so we can just select this. And if you cannot find the suggestion, you can just copy and paste the hex code we just copied. All right. As you can see here now, we have this nice and it looks quite matching. And maybe we should have a slightly thinner line, but it doesn't matter for now. And let's put in here something related to coffee. Let's say your coffee, a coffee cup or a coffee. Let's see what happens if you get coffee. And you can see all these kind of animations here. And there are some animations and uh, drawings, so which are fine. There's also an alternative for photos, but I would not recommend photos for a logo. So I would, let's say here, this would be very nice. It's a very simple, straightforward icon, the coffee beans. 
put this in here and we could give this the same color like that you can see here this is nicely set in the center and then we can duplicate this as well maybe once in a while let's select everything and increase the size of it so we can just put it in the corner here a bit and make it a little bigger and there you are so now we have a bigger logo which is probably more practical and if you would download this you can do the following you click on this to download and then what you can do is you can select here the options in this case png is probably the best option and you can increase the size so this is for a uh, pro version as well maybe you need a very big size because you want to make sure that you have the biggest logo possible and after that you can always modify it so we can increase here and it doubles or triples the amount instead of 500 pixels it's now 1500 pixels which is perfect you could also have the following is to make it transparent give the background more transparent selection compress the file if needed and of course here you can select do you want to download all of them to get an idea or just only a single one so if you select this single one once you click here and download it will download we click on done download it will load it will do something here you can see here it gives even the, the name and there you are so it will give a suggestion here and, and then it's downloaded and it shows you some additional suggestions here but that you can even follow so once we have this we're ready basically good to go and this is how you can create a very simple and quickly a logo in Canva.